So we're now going to move on to our roughness, which will be the last stage in this material. So let's take our base material node and let's create output nodes and no. And we'll just delete the metallic one because we don't need that. And let's just pull these over here. There are now our outputs and we can view outputs in 3D view. So this is our roughness that comes out of the base material node and we're just going to start off with that as a base. Um, it'll give us something just to work off of. Let's pop a blend node uh, and let's take our roughness. Let's take our roughness there. Uh, and then we're going to take the height map that we have. So let's find that from here. And we're going to plug that into a high pass grayscale node. Bring that over and let's put a radius of 2.93. And then we can overlay that on top. Uh, but we actually we don't want these dark areas to be shiny, so let's invert and do that invert. So, so now we have the dark, the top areas a little bit shinier. That works for me. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take the mask um, of our dirt blend. Uh, which happened back here. So let's take this, plug it into the opacity here, and I'm going to use um, just a flat color. So a uniform color, grayscale. And let's put a value of 156 into here. And then let's invert our input. So we get that. So slightly, um, a slightly less rough uh, stone, and then we can do flood fill to random color, uh, f random grayscale. Sorry for our um, all our stone, all of our stone, uh, um, our our scatter elements. Uh, so random grayscale, and we just take this, pull it over. Plug that into random grayscale and then that'll give us some random values to play with and then we can do a un another uniform color blend that together with the grayscale version pull that in here and let's give this a value of 184 oh 194 And then that uh, that will give us some slightly variant um, gray values for all the stones there. And then I'm just going to do that uh, again for the other um, scattered sections. So we can just duplicate that old chunk, pull that in there, um, pull that element and, and plug it into here. Excellent. So now we have that scattered down. Um, and let's we can. Uh, Tweak this one be one five six. We'll make it a little bit shinier. And again, let's do it again for our third scattered stones. And then we can change that value and let's put this a bit higher again. So one eighty. Excellent. Let's let's plug this into our roughness. So we can kind of see what's going on. So let's, let's double check to see if that is in fact playing out our roughness is. So oh, we can start to see some of that work there. Again, we just go to the next element. So the next element um, is our the next element that's being laid is our grass. So I'm just going to do the same here, here, and then we'll use our flood fill for our grass elements. value and let's give this a value 126 so a bit shinier for the grass
do the same for our plants. We're just going to go along the chain, just grabbing all of our different elements and giving everything its own value. 22 for that. Just keep pulling our outputs over. Put that into the roughness. Almost there. One last element, which is our leaves. We'll just pull this up. And we can even make this even a little bit shinier as well. Still. Let's change this value. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically uh, I mean, just kind of color roughness done at that point. If you want to add an extra detail, then you can. Before we finish off, let's do um, let's put an auto levels into our roughness so we have the the full range. And then I'm going to do uh, levels at the very end. So now I have the full range, I can work with the full range. Um, and I'm just going to bring sort of the uh, black values up and the white values up to somewhere that I feel it should be. Somewhere in that range there. You get the little sort of glossier, uh, less rough specs of the plants there, which is nice. Now we make sure that's plugged in. Excellent. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial to the end. I hope you've been able to learn something useful from this. And as usual, if you'd like to get your hands on the source files, they can be found at the link in the description below. I'll see you in the next one.